بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته math grade 6 we are in model 9 volume and surface area today we have the first lesson volume of rectangular prisms volume of rectangular prisms in this lesson we want to learn how to find and use the volume of rectangular prism what's the meaning of the volume then how to use the volume how to you how to find the volume of rectangular uh, prism i want to from from all to prepare your notebook we have some exercises Solve each equation. I want from all to try to solve the first equation, please. 2x equal 36. Then tell me what is your answer. Sir, is the answer 18? Uh, what is your name? I'm Nagam. Thank you, Nagam. Great. Right. Exercise number two. X minus six equal to. What is the value of X here? Uh, Mister, is it eight? Great. Right. Exercise number three, please. Uh, Mr. is the answer 15. Great. Exercise number four. <clears throat> Mr. 88. Great. Type exercise number five. Two point ninety nine. Okay, check with me the answers. Great for all. Here eighteen, here eight, here fifteen, and here eighty eight, and here the equation. Correct the equation. Sixteen x equal forty seven point four eighty four. And uh, when you want to solve this equation, divide. 47.84 divided by 16, the answer will be 2.99. The answer will be 2.99. Okay, great for all. What's the meaning of the volume? What's the meaning of the volume? When you need to make room for your next book shelf or your new uh, guitar arm it helps to find the volume volume is the amount of space inside a three-dimensional figure 
هلا هير وي هاف كومبيرينج بيتوين ذا اريا اند ذا فوليوم اي مينز اريا اند وي ميجرد باي سكويرد يونتس اند في مينز فوليوم اند وي ميجر ذا فوليوم باي كيوب كيوب يونت So what is the difference between the area and the volume? As you see here, when you want to find the area, the area is the amount of space that covers the surface of a closed two-dimensional, two-dimensional. Just we have length and width, two-dimensional. Figure, it is measured in square units, square units. But the volume is measured in a cubed units because the figure is a three dimensional. As you see, when we want to find the volume, we have three dimensionals. We have width and length, and we have the height. We have the height. So when you have a three dimensional, means here we have the volume and we measure it using the cubed cubed units and when we have two dimensional means here we have the area and we use the square units the square units so our lesson today how to find the volume how to find the volume if we have rectangular prism the volume will be length times width times height. If we have a pyramid like this, the volume will be 1 over 3 times the base times the height times the area of the base times the height. And when we have rectangular prism, the volume will be the area of the base times the height. The area of the base times the height. So continue with me, please. A three-dimensional figure has length, width, and height. What's the meaning of a prism? A prism is a three-dimensional figure with two parallel bases that are congruent polygons. What's the meaning of rectangular prism? Rectangular prism, the base, are congruent rectangle. As you see, when we have a three-dimensional, this is the width, and this is the length, and this is the height. The first dimension, the second dimension, the third dimension means you have three-dimensional. The name of this figure, prism. Why? Because we have three-dimensional with two parallel bases. This is the first base, and this is the second base. Here we have two parallel bases. So, the volume is the amount of space inside a three-dimensional figure. It is measured in a cubed units. Always we use cube, cubic units to measure the volume which can be written using abbreviations and exponent of three, such as unit cubed or inch cubed. So this is the meaning of three-dimensional figure and the prism and rectangular prism and the volume. You can find the volume of a rectangular prism with a whole number measurements by picking the prism with the unit cubes. Decomposing the prism tells you the number of uh, cubes of a given size it will take to fill the prism 
So the volume of rectangular prism is related, related to its dimensions, length and width and height. For example, we have here this rectangular prism. So the rectangular prism shown has a length of five units. As you see here, we have one, two, three, four, five. So the length five units and the width of three units. This is the width one, two, three. So we have three units and the height of three units. As you see, here, we have the height here. We have one, two, three units. So the total three times five times three. So there is a total of 15 unit cubes in the base layer of the prism. So the prism has three layers. So the volume of the prism will be 15 plus 15 plus 15 or three times 15. Will be what? Will be 45 cubic units. So this is the first method to find the volume. The second method we can use the formula. This is the important formula to find the volume. The volume represents a variable V. V equal length L times width W times height H. So we can write five times three times three will be what? Will be 45 cubic units. Continue, please. As you see here, we have rectangular prism. And I want to find the value. I want to find the volume. Who can tell me what is the length here? This is the length. The length will be what? Three, three inches. Three inches. Okay, who can tell me what is the width? Two, two and one over two inches. Great. This is the width. Two and one over two inches. Okay, who, who can tell me what is the height? One and one over two inches. Great, this is the height. One and one over two. Now, how to find the volume? Write the formula V equal length times W times height. As you see, the length will be what will be three times uh, W here, mixed number. Try to change it to the fraction. Two times two, four plus one, five over two. Five over two means two point five. So we can write the width now, 2.5 times the height, 1 and 1 over 2. Change it to the fraction, 1 times 2, 2 plus 1, 3. 
over 2. 3 over 2 means 1.5. inches so the height 1.5 now we want to multiply 3 times 2.5 will be 7.5 times 1.5 We can use calculator here, 7.5 times 1.5, the answer will be 11.25. Now who can tell me what is the unit here? Inches. Inches or in, or uh, inches inch squared or inch cubic. Is it inch cubic? Inch cubic. Inch cubic. Yes. Inch cubic. yes, because inch times inch times inch means inch exponent three, and we read it inch cubic. Inch cubic. Who has any question here? Okay, continue with me, please. Find the volume of a rectangular prism. Mini sugar cubes measures one over four inch of each side. The box shown is a bucket full of sugar cubes. What is the volume of the box? Now we have this box as you see. As you see here, we have one and one over two inch. This is the width. And as you see here, we have three and one over two. This is the length. And here we have the height, 6. I want to from all to try to find the, vol the volume. Piece. Start, please, and tell me what is your answer. Start. Mister, is the answer 
132. Okay, thank you. And who has different answer? Yes, sir, I agree with Naga. Okay, who has different answers? Thank you, Moza. Right. Check with me, please. The first step to find the volume, write the formula V equal length times W times the height. Substitution V equal the length three and one over two. We can write it as a fraction or as a decimal, as a fraction, three times two, six, six plus one, seven, over two. Seven over two means 3.5 inch. So the length equal what? 3.5 times the width 1 and 1 over 2 change it to the fraction 1 times 2 2 2 plus 1 3 over 2 3 over 2 means 1.5 so time times 1.5 times the height the height will be what will be 6 Now we want to multiply 3.5 times 1.5, then times 6. Three point five, three point five times one point five times six. So the answer will be 31.5. The answer will be 31.5. Who can tell me what is the unit here? Cubic inches. Great. Inch cubic. Who has any question here? No one, thank you. Great for all. Thank. Here we have a baking box is in the shape of a cube with sides that are one over two yards long. What is the volume of the baking box? Now we have a cube, not regular, no, not a regular prism. Here we have a cube. And as you know, in the cube, we have equal dimensionals we have equal dimensionals i want to from all to try to find the volume start please Um, Mr. I didn't understand the question. 
Now we have a cube, not regular uh, rectangle. We have a cube, not rectangular prism, sorry. We have a cube, not rectangular prism. In the previous uh, example, we have rectangular prism. Here we have a cube. And if you know, or as you remember, uh, in the cube we have equal or congruent dimensionals. Congruent dimensionals means length equal width equal the height. How to find the volume? How to find the volume? Mr. Is the answer three over six? Three over six. OK, thank you. Now, who has different answer? Was that the answer 15? Okay, thank you, Moza. Who has different answer? As you remember, this is the cube. The cube. In the cube, we have three congruent dimensional means this side equal this side equal this side. And here, a cube with sides that are one over two means this side equal one over two, and this side equal one over two, and this side equal one over two. So when we want to find the volume, you know the volume equal L times W times the height. But here L equal W equal height because here we have a cubed. Here we have cube. This side equal this side equal this side. And equal 1 over 2. Equal 1 over 2. So we can write here the volume equal 1 over 2 times 1 over 2 times 1 over 2. So 1 times 1 times 1, 1. And 2 times 2, 4. 4 times 2 will be 8. Who can tell me what is the unit here? Uh, is it a cu cubic inches? Here we have yard. Uh, sorry, yard. Yes, cubic yard. Thank you, Olga. Who has any question here?
طيب in this example the rectangular prism shown has a volume now we have the volume we have the volume uh, of 94 and half cubic inches what is the height of the prism as you see we have the length six and the width four and half and the height here missing value and we have the volume now i want to from all to try to find the value of h start please Mr. Is the answer 31? Thank you. Now, who has different answer? Mr. 31. Thank you, Moza. Who has different answer? Mr. 29. Okay, thank you, Sheikha. Who has different answer? Okay, listen to me, please. So here we have the volume, we have the length, we have the width, and we have we want to find the missing value here, the height. So st start from the formula, write the formula, V equal length times width times the height. Then substitution. We know the, vo the volume here. 94 and half change it to the fraction or to the decimal 
we can write it 94.5. So the volume will be 94. Uh, the length will be C, 6, as you see here, times the width 4 and half, we can write it as a decimal, 4.5. And we want to find the value of the height. So as you know, as you see here, we have equation. So try to multiply now six times four point five. So in this side here, we have ninety four point five equal six times. This is 4.5 multiplied by 6. 6 times 5 will be 30. 6 times 4 will be 24 plus 3 will be 27. And the point after one digit means the answer will be 27 times h. Now the variable h, how to solve this equation? Take the coefficient 27 and divide the two sides by 27. Divide here by 27 and divide here by 27. 27 divided by 27 will be 1. 1h one means h equal. Now we want to divide 49.5 divided by 27. So here we have 94, 94.5 divided by 27. So the answer will be 3.5. The answer will be 3.5. Who can tell me what is the unit here? Cubic inches. But this is not volume. This is the, the, the just one dimension. Oh, sorry. Units, I think. Just inch. This is the height, just inch. Just the volume, cubic unit. Who has any question here? No questions? OK. No questions. This is our lesson today, inshallah. Tomorrow, uh, today I will send to you the homework. Try to solve it. And tomorrow, inshallah, we will revise the same lesson and we will solve uh, the homework. Then let us now to take the attendance. Aliazia. Yes, Mr. Rauda Nasser. Yes, Mr. Rauda Sultan. Rauda Sultan. Musa. Yes. Sheikha. Yes. Alia. Yes, Mr. لطيفة. لطيفة. مريم. موزة. Yes, Mr. نغام. Yes. نورة. Yes, Mr. هاجر.
OK, this is our video today. Thank you for your listening. Have a nice day. See you tomorrow, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.